So we all know new transformations have become a staple on Wings Club. But what if that wasn't exactly the case? What if new transformations were added only when actually necessary for the plot and not just as a ploy to sell new toys? Today I will be essentially getting rid of half of the transformations and explain how the season would play out without them. So let's get right into it. By the way, I'm not covering the movies because the only thing I would change is instead of Believix, I would have them use Enchantix in the second movie. Alright, let's begin. So the first three seasons will essentially play out the same way. The only thing I would change would be I would introduce Charmix a little bit earlier in season 2, but I guess that's just a little bit of an nitpick. Where we actually start is with season 4. With this season, Believix does not exist. The wings will use Enchantix for the entire season and the powers will not be nerfed to make way for a new form. We will learn however that the Enchantix powers can grow which makes sense since this is the base form they will have for the rest of their lives. It doesn't make sense for them to have peaked at 18 when they first got the powers and have the powers stay the same when they're 40. So we will get newer, stronger spells for Enchantix as the season progresses. In terms of the Believix powers, I never cared for the healing properties of Believix so we're scrapping that and keeping the Enchantix healing properties. When it comes to the Super Wings, there's no need for them either. We know Enchantix wings are canonically powerful, so if they need to fly faster, they will just fly faster. No need for speed eggs. No, it's too dangerous! Just let me try, okay? Ugh. I was right! These wings can handle even the strongest winds! Were you afraid to try out your wings? Well, they are still brand new. Can you feel the awesome power they possess? If they need to teleport, we're giving Stella back her role as the resident teleporter of the group, either with her staff or without it, so no zoom X. When it comes to Tracex, the Winx will use Flora to speak with the surrounding nature to find out what has happened in the past, as she has been shown to do before. Something has seen Bloom walk through here, and we're standing right on it. The grass? Smart thinking, Everybody, Bloom went that way. Grassy fields have an excellent memory. We can even throw Roxy in there who can speak with the animals to get information. Additionally, we can introduce Stella's chronovation ability from World of Wings into the main timeline, which basically works just like Tracex. This could be an example of their enchantix powers growing. We are also getting rid of the sub transformations. They can still receive the gifts of destiny, but no need for a whole new power. For Sofix, well, the Wings' Enchantix powers already can affect nature. Plus, Flora will get her chance to shine. And for Lovix, no need for ice powers. And also, they have not one but two fairies with heat-based powers. I'm sure they can manage not to freeze. Also, Aisha's a water elemental. One of her new enhanced powers could be the manipulation of temperature by playing with the water molecules in the cold air surrounding them. Scenarios. Now, since the Wings won't get a new transformation and we basically need a new one every season, that quota will be filled by Roxy. She gets her basic form as it happened originally, only this time with smaller wings with less detail to really make it clear she's at her base level. And that's on season 4. Moving on to season 5, we're getting rid of harmonics. Honestly, as amazing as this form is, it really serves zero purpose. We saw the wings use at least limited powers in Magic Wings back in Season 3 underwater, so they should be able to figure it out as Enchantix fairies. Also, since the Enchantix wings are so strong, no excuse of their wings not working underwater. Sure, they can struggle a bit since the wings weren't designed for that, but no need for a whole new form to get another new form. Moving on to Cyrenix, we are keeping it. However, we are not using the original designs. This version of Cyrenix will be the gothic prototypes with elements of Enchantix, meaning Cyrenix will essentially be an aquatic Enchantix, making it clear that it's basically Enchantix for underwater purposes. The Wings can use Cyrenix for the rest of the season, but it's made clear that they can also use Enchantix at any time, 
In fact, I would throw at least one episode after they get Serenix, where they use Enchantix just to really hammer in that it's a dual transformation, not one replacing the other. We are using Harmonic spells for Serenix and also better version of the Serenix spells too. Moving on to Season 6, we will get a new transformation by combining Bloomix and Mythix. We are not using the name Bloomix, we will call it Mythix, but we will use the Bloomix designs. So for clarity, from here on out, when I say Mythix, I am talking about this, the Bloomix form. The wings will lose their powers that they had originally played out, but this time including Bloom. They will go on a mission on Domino to reach the source of the Dragon Flame in an attempt to regenerate their powers, so Mythix will not come from Bloom. Bloom still has a spark which she will share with the rest, but this only gives them a limited amount of power they can use, with no transformation as it happened originally. This quest will last a few episodes, so say they lose their powers in episode 2, they set out for the quest in episode 3, and we see the first Mythix in episode 7. The way it will play out is they will reach the source of the Dragon Flame, they get part of the magical fire, but their powers are still limited, because even though they have the spark, they still need to earn the reactivation of their powers, and this will happen one by one in a similar way to Enchantix instead of the bootleg thing we got originally in Season 6. Additionally, they will get basic Mythic Swans from Nebula after losing their powers for the purpose of having some source of magics so as to not be so vulnerable before getting their powers back. Once they earn their powers back, the spark of the Dragon Flame will combine itself with the Mythic Swans, granting the wings the Mythic's powers and transforming them into the warrior fairies that we love, in addition to them getting their Enchantix and Serenix powers back. Also, Enchantix kits are redesigned when they get the powers back. It's been like 3 seasons with the form and it can get stale, but we're not getting rid of it, so it gets new stuff. Nothing too major, think of it as Silemur. Same overall aesthetic and design, but new and different details to indicate progress. We also will no longer use the original transformation sequences. To go with the new designs, we will animate the 3D sequence from the movie into the 2D animations with the new details. Imagine how epic that would be. The basic ones will change into the detail and character specific ones we have come to know once the fairy has activated the mythic's power. The ones are not necessary to cast spells or to transform, but they can be an addition to it with specific spells only accessible through the wand. Also, the wand is needed to teleport to the legendary world. The wands can be used for basic spells while the wings are not transformed or are transformed into one of the other forms, but only when they are transformed into mythics can they teleport into the legendary world and use the specific spells that are exclusive to the wands. Also, those exclusive spells are the only ones they can use in the legendary world. Also, the mythic's power is very powerful as it's a combination of ancient fairy magic with dragon flame, so it drains the wings when they use it, therefore it is not used often. Basically, it's only used when the wings have to go into the legendary world and for like the epic final battle against a much more powerful Asheron. Got it? Alright. By the way, for both season 5 and 6, we are getting rid of the CGI. So all this happens in 2D4. Also, side note, we see the return of the Aspro in the season, but she will have Enchantix. No need for a transformation sequence, no need for an explanation of how she got it, but she has Enchantix because I am tired of Rainbow keeping her as a basic hoe who can't get past her first form. Also, Miele's transformation stays the same, Daphne's transformation stays the same but with better animation, and she will also have a transformation for her nymph form. Moving on to Season 7, and we do not get a new transformation for the Wings this season. We are sticking to Enchantix, Cyrenix, and Mythix. The Wings will use Cyrenix for underwater, Enchantix on land, and Mythix will be used for those awesome special water flick spells that makes the Wings seem super powerful. As for Tynix, we'll do what Rainbow themselves did in Season 8. Use Enchantix's mini wings ability to get even smaller and go into the mini worlds. Easy as that. Oh, and we will fill our new transformation every season quota by having Roxy earn her Enchantix this season. She will get a sequence, she will transform alongside the wings, she will get a major wall, and she will snap. I'm skipping Season 8 for now because honestly, I don't know what I will do. 
The whole concept of space transformations kind of goes against a lot of the lore that has been established in the show already and even within the same season. So for Cosmics, I want to hear from you guys. Would you keep it or not? And why? And no, don't just keep it because you like it, it has to make sense in the narrative that you go with for the season. So until next time, I am Cisco, signing off.